thank you for joining us, Reverend Thompson. I know that you've been busy uh, pulling all the last minute details together for the fourth annual MLK Prayer Breakfast. Give us some details though. When, when will it take place? It's going to be this Saturday. And first of all, thank you for having me. It's sure. going to be this Saturday, the 15th from 10 to 1230. It's a virtual affair. And our theme this year is change happens with good hope and a dream. And people, uh, if you're interested in joining us, can go to the website, mlkholidaydc.org, where you'll see a list of events and included among those is the prayer breakfast. And so we're encouraging people to come out. We've got a wonderful event planned. It's very inclusive. Um, it has a lot of things to offer. And we just want people to come out and enjoy it and honor the legacy of Dr. King. So again, when you talk about come out, at least the, we know the prayer breakfast will be virtual. So yes. they can come, uh, come out of their bedrooms and into Absolutely. Their, onto that yes. dining room table and, and uh, enjoy breakfast and enjoy, uh, enjoy the, the messages from that day. Can you yes. tell us what folks can look forward to at the prayer breakfast? Well, I think that they can look forward, as I mentioned, to an inclusive event. We're going to have, um, certainly we're going to have greetings coming from several of, of uh, our officials in the city. And then we're going to have a praise dance. We're gonna have our youth mayors to come out to talk to us about the occasion. We're gonna have some vocal presentations by young people who are going to be uh, doing some of the speeches that Dr. King had. And then certainly we're also going to have um, selections as well too. And we'll have a guest message coming to us from Reverend Tyrell Holcomb. And we're lo really looking forward to that. And, um, and also we want to honor some of the people in our community who have recently passed. Sounds like quite a full breakfast and or program. And the thing I like about it, Reverend Thompson, is that when you pull these programs together, even though they're virtual, but in the in-person programs, of course the food has always been great when it's been in person. Yeah. But yes. uh, even with the virtual programs, you still include um, praise dancing, you still include, you know, sort of the entertainment aspects of that as well. And so I know, I, I guess you'll be doing the same thing this year. Yes, and, and I think um, what the prayer breakfast allows us to do is to show the creative expression that people have when they are uh, honoring Dr. King. And so, uh, as I said, we'll have uh, people who are uh, of different faiths, we'll have young and old, we'll have um, music, we'll have dance, we'll have the spoken word. So it just entails a lot. And of course, we'll have prayer. It, uh, it's a prayer breakfast and that will be multicultural. So we're just looking forward to a really good time. We want people to join us uh, again from 10 to 12.30 and you can just log on and it's gonna be on different platforms. Um, but you can go to the mlkholidaydc.org website, and that will show you how to register. You have been instrumental. I know this is a little off topic, but I think it's important. But you've been in, instrumental in helping the MLK uh, DC committee to come up with a theme every year. It's kind of your wordsmithing that helps us to, to get that, that theme just right. And um, so this year, change happens with good hope and a dream. Can you say, tell us, you know, what, what that means to you? Okay, sure. Well, I think that, um, again, when we're thinking about Dr. King and we're thinking about things that he embodies, the dream, the hope, and as we uh, have our peace walk and in the past when we've had the MLK parade, we've had people marching down MLK Avenue. And that just reminds us of the I have a dream speech. And so we realized that Dr. King did have a dream. And uh, the this year, the Peace Walk will be intersecting with Good Hope Road. And in a tribute to Good Hope Road as well, too, uh, we wanted to include Good Hope and a dream um, and that intersection. So we're in a time now where we really do need to, to really focus on change, to really promote a lot of the things that will bring about positive change in our community. And so how better to do that than to, to uh, call on the legacy of Dr. King. And so it's change happens with good hope and a dream. So that's why we're looking forward to that. And uh, we do believe that it's something that 
how young people can embrace too. And as part of what they'll be doing this year and other aspects of it, they'll be doing essays um, having to do with, with elements of change in society as well too. Yeah, that's great. We're going to be talking to Kimmy Hughes about, um, you know, the the Mayor's Youth Leadership Institute and, and their essay contest, which had tremendous uh, participation, as always. And so mm -hmm. I want to thank you, Reverend Thompson, for being with us. Thank you. Thank you for volunteering. Uh, it's been like the, the third or fourth year in a row <laughs> you've done this to make sure that this prayer breakfast happens. And, uh, you know, just thank all of the people that have worked with you. And we look forward to seeing a great program tomorrow. All right. Thank you. And thank you for having me. All righty. Take care. Bye. Where do you